Their experiment failed completely, but it changed physics forever. When American physicist Albert Michelson and chemist Edward Morley set up their ingenious light measuring apparatus in 1887, they were absolutely certain they'd detect the mysterious ether wind that everyone believed permeated the universe. Spoiler alert, they found nothing. Absolutely nothing. Scientists had been convinced that light waves needed something to travel through, like water waves need water. This hypothetical medium was called luminiferous ether, and Earth's movement through it should create a detectable ether wind. Michelson and Morley built an incredibly precise instrument that split light beams and sent them traveling perpendicular paths before recombining them. If the ether existed, light traveling against the wind would move slower than light traveling across it, creating measurable interference patterns. Day after day, they slowly spun their apparatus, expecting dramatic results. But the light beams stubbornly showed identical speeds in all directions. The scientists were baffled. Where was the ether they knew must exist? The ether model of light propagation was obviously wrong, but nobody had a better idea at the time. Until 1905, when a then mostly unknown patent clerk in Switzerland proposed something revolutionary. Perhaps there simply was no ether, and light speed was constant for all observers, regardless of motion. His name was Albert Einstein, and this wild idea became the foundation of his special theory of relativity, completely transforming our understanding of space, time, and the universe itself. So here's your excuse if you got nothing done at work. Sometimes nothing can be the most revolutionary result of all.